Hello and welcome back to my journal anatomy lecture series lecture number 12 in which we will study about the skeletal muscle anatomy In this lecture you will get to know about the structure of a skeletal muscle the part of a skeletal muscle and the classification of the skeletal muscle In the anatomical structure of a skeletal muscle you will get to know a skeletal muscle consist of many fascicles and each muscle fascicle consist of small muscle fibers the muscle fibers have a sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcolemma that is covering the muscle fiber the mitochondria and it consist of many small microfibrils each microfibrils have a sarcomere Z lines, A band, I band, and the actin and myosin filaments. Parts of a skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscle have a origin. That is a muscular attachment that usually remains fixed. and a body that is the fleshy part and the insertion it is the attachment that moves it can be a tendon that is a cord like structure or an epineurosis that is a fibro membranous structure as the plantar epineurosis or it can be present in the fleshy part like in the fronto occipital muscle let's start with the classification of a skeletal muscle if we study the skeletal muscle on the basis of the region and location it has upper limb muscles the trunk muscles and the lower limb muscles on the basis of the action and role a skeletal muscle has prime mover synergist antagonist and the fixator the prime mover is the main muscle that is causing the action while the antagonist is the opposing muscle synergist is the muscle that helps the prime mover while the fixator as the name indicates stabilizes joint for the movement of the muscle if we took an example of if elbow flexion then the bicep brachii is the prime mover brachioradialis is its synergist while the tricep is the antagonist that first relaxes to allow the movement while at the end of the movement it contracts to stop the movement or limit the movement while the rhomboids are the scapular stabilizer or the fixators according to the histochemical localization of the enzymatic activity there are type a type b and type c mus skeletal muscle fibers both type a and c are fast twitch while the type b is a slow speed the type a and type c are further differentiated on the basis of the color and the size the type a has white color while the type c are red in color The type A are large in size while type C are small in size. Relative to the color, they are white and red muscle fibers. The red skeletal muscles have large quantity of myoglobin while the white skeletal muscles have low quantity of myoglobin. according to the nucleus position the nucleus is towards the center in the red skeletal muscle while it's in the periphery in the white skeletal muscles 
there are large amount of mitochondria present in the red skeletal muscles while the amount of the mitochondria in the white skeletal muscle is low red skeletal muscles are slow and sustained while the white skeletal muscles are rapid and unsustained z lines are thicker in the red while they are thinner in the white skeletal muscle the example of the red skeletal muscles are the postural muscles while the mostly the segmental muscles are the white muscles circulation is well developed in the red skeletal muscles and is not well developed in the white skeletal muscles all the extensor muscles are red while the extraocular muscles are white skeletal muscles according to the architecture there are mainly two types obliquely arranged skeletal muscles and parallelly arranged skeletal muscles they are divided in obliquely and parallelly arranged according to the arrangement of the muscle fascicles there is more mobility in the parallelly arranged muscle fibers while than the obliquely arranged muscle fibers because parallelly arranged muscle fibers can contract maximally than the obliquely arranged in parallelly arranged they are quadrilateral fusiform shaped or the strap shaped skeletal muscles in the quadrilateral muscle the example is the gluteus maximus while the fusiform or the spindle shaped is the biceps brachii and the strap shaped or ribbon shaped are the rectus abdominis in the obliquely arranged muscle fibers they are cruciate circular fan shaped convergent spiralized and pinnate pinnate is further divided into unipinnate bipinnate and multipinnate in the cruciate muscles the muscle fascicles are arranged in criss cross manner like for example the masseter and the medial pterygoid in circular muscles the muscle fascicles are arranged in circular shape like the orbicularis oris in fan shape the five fascicles are converged in such a manner to give the shape of a fan for example the temporalis muscle in the convergent type the fibers are converging to make a triangle for example the pectoralis major muscle in the spiral muscles the five fascicles are arranged spirally for example the latissimus dorsi pinnate means the feather shaped they can be unipinnate or the half feather is the example is the posterior tibialis or the bipinnate or the complete feather The example is the rectus femoris, and the multipinnate, as the name indicates, has more than two pinnates. For example, the deltoid muscle. For more videos, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.